This is My Little Rider Life, and I'm Chad. And uh, this is the uh, episode we're gonna do on uh, model cars. And uh, I just wanna talk about a little bit about what My Little Rider Life is gonna be about. Our series is gonna talk about everything that has to do with what I have been involved in with low riding, including modeling cars, including baby strollers, low rider cars, bicycles, everything, uh, clothing, you know, the Mexican culture, the food, there's tons of stuff I, I like about it. And uh, that's what got me into cars, was the artistic value that the low rider brings. So anyways, these are some model cars that uh, I built. But we'll just go ahead and start over here. So this 63 is a total chopped up car. And these cars are all cars that I learned how to do patterns on. So this car anyways was a car that was falling apart and so I decided to try to redo it. So the paint on it's real thick and you can probably see some of the lines, anybody that knows anything about paint, but I thought it turned out okay. And one of the cool things that I did was I put a Jaguar motor in it because it was a scrap car. And to get it to lay as flat as I wanted, I filed the frame down. But we got the, you know, the old school exhaust pipes there and the Kragers with the white walls. So I think it's cool with the, you know, upgraded motor. So anyways, and that's a model that's been done like three times. And and the, the, all these patterns were uh, water-based paint shot through airbrush and then cleared with enamel. And then... Uh, now this one, actually my favorite model I have right now. This is actually also a redo. This used to be orange. And I sanded it down and put a pink pearl over the orange and I, this is the color I got and I loved it. And so I did the roof in white and then I did the patterns and these are my favorite patterns. They just came out fantastic, the patterns. That's a white pearl with the purple and silver and pink pearls and just a little bit of black. It was a lot of taping, a lot of tedious stuff to make it happen. A lot of holding my breath, hoping the tape won't peel the paint. But it came out nice. And then uh, the skirts. And now I know you can buy the 61 skirts, but I actually made those out of plastic myself. So I'm proud of them. And then uh, the spokes in there. These were a set that you could build kind of. So I painted the spokes uh, pink and the nipples and the... Uh, and the hubs in there, I, I painted them pink. So that, I thought that was cool that it matched. And then the big deal, the real big deal with the 61 here is that I hand built custom those blinds. And that was a lot of work to make that happen. And we don't even have enough time to talk about it, but they're kind of, kind of good, kind of bad, but I like them. I think they, I think then in, in all said and done, they turned out cool. Motor's fairly detailed, you know, looks pretty good. You know, I do I do my paint a little different. My trim, a lot of them guys use the tape, but what I do is I actually use a toothpick and paint and I just go right along it as best I can. And some of the cool things is like, I was able to do a little Chevrolet right there on the, on the edge of the hood. And now I move to the 64. Now the, the funny thing about the 64 is, <laughs> it was painted in 1999 because I remember when I first seen this color, this color, I was working at a body shop with my good friend Todd. He got me the job there and a Ford Ranger rolled in with that purple on it. And I thought to myself, holy cow, that purple is like the perfect purple for a lowrider. It's per You don't even need a candy. That's perfect. And, and in fact, guys, the, the paint code is either PA or GN but it's beautiful and uh i think chris did paint this or, or maybe todd i'm not sure but he painted it and then it lasted for years and years and years and then i decided i was going to risk it and try to do patterns and uh this one's came out okay i mean i had a little bit of tape issue right in there but for the most part it came out pretty cool and you know it's like four or five colors silver and purple and red and blue and all over and then I kind of painted in the inside there the steering wheel like a like a um, kind of like a wood wood grain steering wheel and I don't know if you can see in there or not but I'm sure the dash is detailed and all the buttons are done and I do that all with the little toothpick 
And then the grill, uh, um, yeah, let's look at the 61 grill real quick. A, uh, a model, a tip I learned on, on, uh, on the internet was they, they, you can take that little teeny Sharpie, the little very fine point, and you can go in between the grooves and color them black, and then it makes it look like a real, real grill. That was a tip I picked on the internet. I thought it was a good tip. Now this crazy thing, I really like the idea of the black and green and it's got multiple different colors, but the real cool thing that I thought was the idea was I took the patterns from the hood and I went onto the dash, from the hood onto the dash. And that was, I don't know, I thought it turned out pretty good until the windshield busted. And then, uh. This guy always reminded me of that Hector dude from Friday, so I thought that was cool. Um, yeah, you know, I know this this show is uh, gonna be all about family too, so you know I'm hoping there's some teenagers that still want to get down with their hands. I, and this is an expensive hobby right here too, because you think about how much money I got into just these little model kits. You know, the kit's like 20 bucks, the wheels are like 10, 15 bucks. You know, and then all the time, all the little tester paints that you get, and then, you know, all the airbrush paints, all the tape, you know, each one of these has easily 50 to $100 in them, which is kind of ridiculous. But if you're into the hobby and you invest in the equipment, over, over time, you'll get everything and it just becomes easier and easier and easier. And, you know, then all you're doing is buying kits and, and then you have all the parts already. This one had a, a booty kit, put a little booty kit on it. There went the hood. That's how you get them chipped. <laughs> oh, the cucaracha <laughs> horns or whatever. Anyways, I'll go ahead and just give you guys a tiny little demonstration of what I was trying to do is what I used to do. So now the funny part about this situation right here is that I have not done this in a really long time. So this is actually my first attempt in years. But how I used to do it was I get them little bamboo skewers and I would even sharpen them down. And then I would use the lid and I would just dab it. Sometimes I would get a little bit of paint right in there. And then I would just dab it and get kind of like almost like a teardrop right on the tip of it. And I would come into a model edge and I would just drag the silver right along the edge, just like that. That's how I did all mine. And it took a lot of patience. And the key, guys, is having a stash of Q-tips right with you. If you have Q-tips and you mess up, you can just wipe the paint off real quick. So this Mercury, I don't think, actually had window trim but i just thought it was a good example of how i did it so anyways fellas like i said this is a family show and my son's filming knows what he's doing and i don't know what i'm doing but my wife will take some pictures so we'll have some pictures with this video and like i said i'm gonna do all kinds of stuff guys i'm gonna do shop visits I'm gonna do uh, hopefully some hydro hydraulic demonstrations. You know, we'll look over some real nice cars. Now most of this stuff is gonna be local to my state. You know, I'm not trying to go out of state. We're trying to keep this fun. And we're trying to keep these videos to like 10 minutes to keep your guys' attention, you know, and try to build a little following. But if you're down with low riders, you're down with low rider culture, you're down with oldies music, you're down with, you know, 90s rap music, you're down with, you know, Dickies and beach cruisers and building stuff with your hands and trying to be creative. That's what I'm going to try to do here. And I'm hoping some youngsters will get into it. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, see you next time. Everybody, by now you kind of know what we're doing. You got an idea of the, the project. <laughs> we got it painted on my wall, kind of silly, but... Goofy had a fun time doing it and I, and I like it. So anyways, uh, if you guys are digging what we're doing and you're liking the shows, please uh, like and share and subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>